Ever wondered how your devices measure temperature and humidity? In this video, we'll break down the DHT11 sensor and show you how it works with Arduino. So without wasting any time let's get started. DHT11 sensor can measure temperature from 0 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius with a plus or minus 2. 0 degrees Celsius accuracy, and humidity from 20 to 80 percent with a 5 percent accuracy. DHT11 has a sampling rate of 1 Hz, which means it can provide new data once every second. DHT11 sensors typically require an external 10K pull-up resistor on the output pin for proper communication between the sensor and the Arduino. The module also includes a decoupling capacitor for filtering power supply noise. If you remove the sensor's casing, you will find an 8-bit microcontroller for data processing. If you flip the PCB you will find an NTC thermistor and a humidity sensing component inside. The humidity sensing component has two electrodes with a moisture holding substrate. As the humidity rises, the substrate absorbs water vapor, resulting in the release of ions and a decrease in the resistance between the two electrodes. This change in resistance is proportional to the humidity, which can be measured to estimate relative humidity. DHT11 also includes a NTC thermistor for measuring temperature. A thermistor is a type of resistor whose resistance varies with temperature. Thermistors are designed so that their resistance changes dramatically with temperature. The term NTC stands for negative temperature coefficient, which means that resistance decreases as temperature rises. Let's see the pinout of DHT11 module. VCC pin provides power to the sensor. Supply voltage of the module ranges from 3.3 volts to 5.5 volts. Out pin is used for communication between the sensor and the microcontroller. GND is the ground pin. Wiring DHT11 module to Arduino. The image shows how to connect everything. So I hope you have learned something new today and make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for more informative videos. Thanks for watching.